Hey everyone, Rayo here and welcome back to Maxing Melee. If you're new to this series, Maxing Melee is about getting best in slot gear for melee, becoming as best as we possibly can with the style, and taking it to every single boss that we can, learning them, and doing it as best as we can in grinding PRs. In this video, we're going to be testing out the brand new tier 95 melee set, the Vestments of Havoc, as well as Chaos Roar. So far, I've had some practice with Chaos Roar if you saw the previous episode, but these new Vestments of Havoc, I just got my hands on, I just perked out, so I'm really excited to give them a try at things like Raksha, Care Pack, as well as Ambassador, and maybe a couple God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses. But before we get into it, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more content, all the cool YouTube stuff, and I also have a range version of this series, so if you want to catch the playlist for the range series or this series, make sure to check out the video description for the playlist links. I also stream over on Twitch, so follow me there if you want to see any of this content live. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let me tell you, I am super duper excited to be doing this video right now because I have been busting my butt these past two weeks to learn Zami as well as make enough money to get these vestments. <laughs> It has just been a grind on a grind, and I've been depleting my bank just to afford these. It cost me um, quite a bit, but not as much as it was a few weeks ago. It's probably like 1.6, 1.7 bills what I spent on all of it. Maybe a little bit less, but either way, we have it now. I had the perks kind of just sitting in my bank, so we're ready to go. So the plan for today for the bosses will be Care Pack, Raksha, Ambassador... Uh, just because those I feel like are the beginning of high-end bossing if you're to do them solo. So we're going to take it to those because I think that's a good uh, position to test out these vestments. And I'm also going to take it to God Wars Dungeon 2 see if we can land a couple new PRs because we haven't done that in a very long time. And I think these vestments could be a very big help in that. All right, so we're going to start off going with um, Duo Care Pack with Calvin. So I'm going in blind. I've never used this. I literally just finished perking it out. Calvin was looking for some care groups and um, I'm, I'm honestly a little bit scared because the damage is insane. I, I just don't know what to expect. I'm very used to the trim masterwork damage reduction using melee. So we'll see how this goes. Well, first kill. Um, <laughs> I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting all over again. And uh, I haven't actually done melee care pack in a really long time. It's all been ranged lately, so I gotta get used to the helm swap. I was kind of set in a rotation last time. I wasn't focusing on my abyssal stacks at all, so um, something that's cool is that you can stack up to 120% adrenaline and then swap off the helmet, so I gotta remember to do that. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> that was insane damage. 15.5k. That's just nuts, dude. What in the world? Oh, I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. Oh my gosh, what am I doing, dude? No, my gosh. Oh my lord. Oh jeez, I am throwing so bad, dude. <laughs> so I just noticed that if you are swapping helms mid-fight, it'll actually change your adrenaline back to 100%. Imagine throwing, bro. I've never thrown in my whole entire life, dude. Not a single time in my whole entire life. <laughs> and then I throw. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was almost a 17k hit. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's just insane.
Nice, 217 duo. That is very good. So what I've been noticing past um, couple kills is I'll charge up to 120 adrenaline. When I use a, when I use Zerk during the fight, I have the Jaws of the Abyss helmet, but I also have 120% adrenaline, but it'll take it down to 20% adrenaline and consider the Zerk like a full 100%. But I have the Ring of Vigor passage, so it should be going, or passive, so it should be going to 30%. That's not been the case that I've been noticing. So I'm going to test it this time and see what happens. I'm going to swap to the Jaws and just um, see if it still reads it incorrectly. Or if that's intended. If that's intended, then I'll have to keep the Vestments Hood. Alright, yeah, so you probably have to keep the, the Vestments Hood equipped because that just took it down to 20%. All right, yeah, because I just had 120%, but I had the helmet off. So when I used the basic, it took it right down to 100%. So you have to keep the helmet equipped to benefit from that extra 20%, it looks like. Which is not really an issue. It's just getting used to that's going to be another challenge, just another swap. Bro, <laughs> that was insane damage right there. Always got to smack talk Calvin when you can as well. Oh my gosh, dude. I I didn't get MVP. Like Calvin's actually been nuking. I was, <laughs> that was that was a super good clear. I, I don't know. I'm still getting used to this. Now that I know how the helmet actually functions, I think it's going to make a lot more sense. But that felt a lot better. Now that I've done some care pack and I kind of have an idea of how the set works. I want to kind of take it back to the basics and do some hell weird. I just want to give this a shot and see if this makes any difference. I feel like it could uh, because I'll have 10% more starting adrenaline at least whenever I do Zerk. So I'd be able to build to my um, high hitting abilities really quick. I'm also going to change to a D claw EOF because I think that'll be a good adrenaline dump. And maybe Chaos War would actually be good to use with the Declaw EOF. I have no idea. We're going to experiment. So I matched my PR, 17.4 seconds. But the difference between that is that there was no Relentless proc. There was no RNG involved in that. It was all, it was reliable. So everything that just happened, I can do every single time, assuming my hits are the same. Now, if I were to have a Relentless proc, I don't, I really don't know if it would make that much of a difference, if I'm to be totally honest, because I had enough adrenaline to virtually do everything that I wanted, but I probably just wouldn't have to build with basics. Wow. <laughs> I even messed up like quite a bit there. And that was, that was pretty good. I felt pretty good. Heck yeah, dude. 0. 0.6 second increase. That's sick, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. That's cool. This set is just insane. The amount of damage that you do is absurd. Like my basics are regularly doing 10k in Zerk. It's it's just crazy. This is like really, really cool. I didn't think that the strength bonus from the armor set was really gonna make that much of a difference. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just not paying attention as much as I should, but it seems like my basics are doing a lot more damage than usual. All right, so I think that is a good amount of testing on Hellware. I, you know, I didn't do a whole lot, but I mean, did about 15 minutes worth and I got a new PR, which is pretty darn sweet. I didn't have a single relentless proc, so I didn't have a single bit of full adrenaline RNG like I've had in all my past PRs. It's strictly been just standard rotation now i'm gonna take this to raksha raksha i'm really excited about because chaos war will have a good a chance to shine and i'm excited so let's go ahead and take it on into raksha
dude. What? I <laughs> I got him down to 635k. I if I could get the tail swipe skip right in the beginning, that would be absurd, dude. Oh my gosh. That would be insane. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, bro. Now that wasn't a new PR at all because I'm still trying to like figure out my rotations, but that was effortless. Like 244.4 was really hard to get regularly before. I am, I'm confident that I'll be able to get a new PR, 100%. No, <laughs> no, dude, <laughs> that was going so much better than I, oh, no, that sucks. <laughs> barely a pr but we got we got a pr 240.2 i already know what i could do better there i know for a fact that i can do a length spec whenever i get the anima um that would make a massive difference so i still want to grind out this pr but 240.2 i will take it all right so i couldn't get another pr at raksha but i'm also still trying to do new things now that i have more adrenaline I will start to do the length spec in P4, which I haven't really been doing before. It's kind of like a shame on you kind of thing if you're doing melee, but it's just such a strong spec and I haven't been using it. But now that I have this extra adrenaline, it's almost silly not to. So I'm going to grind this like off video, maybe over on stream, but I am going to go ahead and try out Ambassador and see how the kills go. I did Chaos Roar at Ambassador. If you saw my last video, I got a I'm pretty sure I got a PR by like six seconds or something. So now I want to try this with the vestments. I imagine this will be very painful, but I think it's going to be very, very strong. So let's take it to Ambassador. All right, just ran the full dungeon. And man, I 
Gotta be honest, I'm not I'm not up for doing more than just one of these. This takes quite a bit longer than the other bosses, but I do want to give it one shot at least. I'll probably teleport out till I get some good phases, maybe, unless the first kill is going really well. So hopefully we can beat our PR, which is currently a 347. I definitely think we can do better than that with this set. Because we set that with the Chaos Roar, but now we have the set and Chaos Roar. Oh my gosh, holy crap, first try and we beat it by 11.4 seconds, dude. Wow, dude, a 336 melee solo ambassador. I am super content with that. <laughs> oh, dude, man, that was really sloppy, but um, I'm pumped about that. That was really, really, really good. And that's all I have for you today, guys. For this vestment set, I will say my closing thoughts are that it is super strong man the amount of max hits that i was doing in this vestment set was kind of ridiculous it just makes your zerk rotation feel so good especially the extended zerk rotation because your basics hit so strong 
So you have six extra seconds to just load in some extra basics, build up some adrenaline, but that also gives some extra time to get off your Chaos Roar and your EZK, which both benefit from Zerk. The first hit of EZK does. The rest of the bleeds don't, but the first hit does. When you're using Chaos Roar, I don't know how much that really matters, but it's almost just a guaranteed near max hit, or at least 10k plus, which is very nice because Chaos Roar will double its damage, and then Zerk will double its damage. I don't know if it's additive or multiplicative, but you get what I mean. It just... It stacks to some extent. So overall, I'm very pleased with this set, and I honestly think it might replace Masterwork in most cases for me. The only place I can't think that it will replace it is Zamorak, because I'm still not good at Zamorak. But anyways, guys, I'm babbling on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, drop a comment down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I have a range version of this series, as I mentioned earlier. A playlist to that series and this series is in the video description. And of course, if you want to catch any of my progress or just come hang out, make sure to join me over on Twitch. The link is also in the video description and also my Discord. You can get any notifications when I go live or post new videos. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.